Emperor has been expecting you. Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and you are watching episode number 53 of Visions, a series of live streams that I do uh, every so often and I sit down with a different collector or member of the One Six Scale community and discuss the past, the present and the future of their collecting journey. Recently I've started doing reissues or technically 2.0s because they're better than the originals um, where I re-invite someone back who I've already spoke to, had a conversation with, had an interview with. This man's a special one because he's kind of like, I think of this, this, I think of this guy as like the Mark Morrison, it's the return of the Mac. It was episode number one of visions this was the first person uh, about two years ago i think it was the i think it was the 10th of june if i look, remember looking this up earlier on the 10th of june 2022 so nearly two years just under two years the first person i ever had on uh, episode one of visions and he's back here for a 2.0 so really looking forward to chat to this guy again uh here we got kg collector how are you doing good man it was an honor being uh your first and it still is coming back as well so i'm glad i came back you know i did a stream with joey not too long ago i know i've been you know behind the I scenes a lot that. and i haven't been um uh you know on youtube but it's great it's good whenever someone invites me like you shane on the channel and i'm honored to come back and uh talk about figures and uh just everything so Thank you for having me. And uh, no problem, man. I really appreciate it. And I know you're you're busy as well, and you're in university now and everything. The collections looking yeah. great behind behind the scenes. We were just chatting, and I said that um, I told KG that like I hadn't seen him in a while, and uh, I follow him on Instagram. And then one day I saw him, and he was there training. And this guy's been putting on some lean muscle, man. And I was thinking, who's that guy? He's all grown up looking. Like, cause the last time uh, we spoke, like you were you were you were a lot younger, but you've uh, you've definitely been taking your training seriously anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting older, but you're getting younger, so that like, like, you look the same. <laughs> and you say all the right things. I'll take it. I'll take it. But uh, yeah, you know, you yeah, know how to charm people. <laughs> look, uh, I'm really looking forward to this conversation, and thanks very much for uh, for accepting the invitation. So we're just going to address some of the chat, and then we're then we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna just have a conversation. It won't be the exact same, but I've got a series of questions lined up, which is basically to move the conversation along, and they're a lot of fun. So you can take them whatever direction you want. As usual, folks, we have the um, the link to channel memberships. It's always as a pinned comment in the description. So if you want to support the channel in that way, no obligation. But if you do, uh, let us know. You can just uh, follow the link and all that. So much appreciated. We have Graham, another pillar in the One Six Scale community, and who was the first uh, 2.0 or episode two or yeah 2.0 reissue of, of Visions. He came on there last week, and we discussed. Uh, the big changes that uh, that he's went through in the last two years in his collecting journey. Of course, we got KG here, Clinton Martin, Tragedy Tales, a channel member. Thanks very much for being here. We got one six Rick. We have Alan, who's a little bit annoyed at me because I said some <laughs> some 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 maybe slightly controversial things about the Batman. Oh. Uh, you know, but then he watched the video and he said actually it wasn't too bad like it definitely wasn't a bashing video i am looking forward to but just a bit underwhelmed without those photos but channel member and mod as well thank you very much alan and we might even talk about that batman philip the fool thanks very much for being here channel member we got fbj in the building we got mitchell lawrence who's passing through thank you very much and we got calvin aka the low key collector now i i said i was happy to bring you back on but i never said it was going to be you. Oh so, no! Have you ever watched uh, the Hope Show by any chance? The Hope Show? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. So, you're familiar with the Snap? Yes, yes, I am. Yep, yep. It's designed to make everyone feel uncomfortable and put them in awkward, awkward positions where they have uh, to uh, make sacrifices. There are no right yeah. answers here, KG. There is only pain. No, uh, if you had to snap away one of these IPs, what would it be? Oh wow, yeah. It's, He's it's never going to come on the is, show again. Uh, yeah, this this is the last time I'm coming, guys. No, no. But um, damn, man, you put me. This is actually really hard. I, I was I was hoping it would be, but oh man, because both IPs are phenomenal. I think we could both agree that you know Fuck. both have their hiccups. You know, with some movies are not that great. Some movies are good. Um, but if I have to pick one, and is it like a specific Star Wars, or is it just like everything Star Wars? 
Star Wars never exists if you snap Star Wars. Oh, no, Batman no, no. or all the supporting characters or villains never exist if you snap Batman. So you're basically... If you snap Batman, you're snapping every single Batman movie, the Nolan-verse, the Keaton-verse, the, wow. his appearances in the DCU, the villains, uh, the lunchboxes, Batman pajamas and socks gone. Wow, okay. <clears throat> wow, okay. Now that's pretty much everything then. Um, I'm going to snap out Star Wars. As much as I love Star Wars... There's something about Batman that will still hold with me. I mean, you know, I'm a huge Batman fan. You know, me, Riley, and Nick, and you as well. I mean, we are huge Batman fans. Me particularly, you know, with the Christopher um, Nolan trilogy and, and also with Matt Reeves' uh, film. Um, you know, I grew up loving those films. And, um, yeah, no, Batman, I'm going to keep Batman in Star Wars. Unfortunately, has to has to uh, snap, Man, snap away. There are no right answers to these. These are, these are very, very difficult decisions. And uh, yeah, I, I would snap Star Wars as well. I can't snap the, the Nolan trilogy or Batman. There's too many yeah, childhood too memories good. with with Keaton eighty nine and ah oh, look, there's no right answers now. It's 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 horrible to say. This one might be a little bit easier. Oh, so what okay. you're doing is you're snapping the character away. Okay. So this is easy for me because I've never seen. Uh, I forgot what this movie's called. With uh, I know it's a really Edward famous. Scissorhands. Yeah, so I'm gonna snap yeah. that one. I haven't well, seen it. That's but an I'm easy sure one. It's... Yeah. I'm sure it's it's a pre uh, it's a really iconic uh, role. I know mm -hmm. Timothy Chalamet is doing it. I don't know. I saw some photos of him. I don't know. It. Was that true or was that? Um, oh, I think it's a SNL Halloween skit. costume or I something. Think maybe I, I wasn't sure. I'm I don't sure. know. But Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. I actually was watching the films, you know, prior to oh uh, well, not prior, but like because of the hype of the the artisan version, I was rewatching them again. I'm like, yeah, I, I, this is it's too good. Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow is too good untouchable but yeah unfortunately the other character has to go yeah no that's fair enough that's fair enough at least yeah. we got one easy one for you anyway yeah now this what you're going to be doing here is you're not snapping the character way out of existence you're just snapping basically if you um if you snap paul then you're never going to be able to get the in art paul atreides mm -hmm. if you snap the batman you're never going to be able to get the in art batman you can still get the hot toys one but you're basically snapping the figure out of existence Right. This is a, a, maybe another easy one for me. I'm going to snap in our Batman, surprisingly. Interesting. Uh, just Kane Fall. Just, be, just because I have the Hot Toys one, and I'm really liking the okay. Hot Toys. right okay. Yeah. There. So, ah, you see. know, with the bat signal. And I haven't watched Doom 2, but I'm hearing a lot of great things about Doom 2. So when I get the chance to, I love the first one. The first time I was watching it, wasn't a huge fan, I must say so myself. It was kind of slow. Mm -hmm. But re-watching it i grew a new, new love for the film and i can't wait to see the second one i've heard the second one is great um so yeah i think a polar trade figure will definitely be in my collection in the near future i really like the characters so far yeah. and it's me too so you know i have to yeah. own i have to uh give 10 percent to leo at some point, of course so. of course timothy shalami uh, you know. it's probably 20 percent probably 20 percent uh, well yeah i mean yeah. in this way yeah i mean it might you know so yeah. interesting um i actually uh I have both versions, the single rooted in art and the um, the Hot Toys Deluxe on order. So nice. my logic was, I'm going to snap, uh, and it was nothing to do with the photos that came out yesterday. It was like, I'm going to snap the in art one because I can keep the Hot Toys one because I need, I, I want, I want the Paul. Whereas if I snap the Paul, no one else is really doing a Paul of that standard. I know that there's an AUG Toys right. one, but it's just not as good uh, from what Great. I've seen. Yeah. So this man, Keith Lee, has said, good evening, collectors. Just got back from seeing Dune 2. Finally, that was a much needed epic movie now we have the itch to order the in art figure well, kg one bit of advice try and see this in the cinema at least imax if you can but try to try to get to this cinema. i'll we try my collector best joey go on sorry no i said i'll try my best i'll try my ah, best good stuff good stuff definitely should we got collector joey in the house as well and Brick was saying he'd snap the Batman. He really wants that uh, that, that, that Dune Paul Atreides. Uh, Philip the Fool, if my Hot Toys Batman would ever come, then I'd snap the inner Batman. That's funny. Dune all day. Uh, I, I, I love the lore. And I have a Prime 1 Blitzwood and Quarter. Ah, I see. Excellent. Good stuff. Just watched Justin's review on the Jazz Inc. 95. I'm kind of regretting not getting it. You never know. Hop on the wait list. Ooh. What do you got to lose? Okay, what do you got to lose? Um, who else do we got? Oh, we got, we got, look, this week. See, this is it. Jay. We got the return of the Mac in terms of KG. And then we got Brother Cousins in here as well. 
watching uh, KG's uh, really anticipated return. So um, yeah, thanks very much, Jay, for, for, for checking in. Okay, so that's the snap out of the way. I'm going to start off with an easier question. So okay. I've got a bunch of questions just lined up here. The first one is, um, sure. so we did our first Visions episode way back in the 10th of June, 2022. So it's, you know, it's, it's nearly two years ago. Yeah. So what's changed since the 10th of June, 2022 in the last two years? How has your collecting changed? I know your displays are different, but it, like, just just uh, give us the, the highlights there. Sure, uh, it's a great question, uh, and I need a question actually. So, um, for me, I would say my display. When you saw me doing visions two years ago, I was in my other house in Georgia, and that display is still mm -hmm. there, with all those figures and everything. That's still the same. You got two um, displays, you baller. <laughs> well, you know, I do got that Dune money, so you know, who knows? You got the Dune uh, money. You got that Wonka money. <laughs> hey. And I'm currently signed in for Warner Brothers for future projects, so you know, I never know. You're locked in. Know. You're locked in. I'm I locked don't want to yeah. uh, But go going back to the question, um, yeah, no, I mean, uh, a lot has changed. You know, I've, I've came more comfortable to the idea of selling. Um, I, I wasn't too comfortable selling figures at the time because I was like, oh no, what if I regret selling it and stuff? But you know, I was in a position where I was collecting, <laughs> I was hoarding figures to the point mm -hmm. where. These figures were like on the floor sometimes they were on my table just laying or they're just boxed up i'm like that's just not healthy you know for me personally as, as a collector and uh so i recently just sold a few figures on um on uh, uh the bts groups and also on makari and these other websites that that you used to sell and i gotta tell you I, i've sold a, a good 10 or 15 figures right now um and i would say it's the most healthy option for any collector out there and mm -hmm. you know i'm right now i've I, I think um, I think two years ago was No Way Home, I believe so. So like the No Way Home hype was there as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I mentioned that I was going to click every single No Way Home line figure and it's up there. I have every one of them except for the red and blue suit. Um, so now I'm done with that line. I did have another line that I really want to come into myself was the Clone Wars. The Clone Wars is an era that me and Riley kind of grew up with. We grew up with this era um, and uh, with clones and stuff. Now I'm so addicted to troopers now, specifically clones. I know you're addicted to troopers. You love trooper building as well. I know you have a variation it's of troopers. It's an addiction, man. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. Slippery slope. Um, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I would say my um, my goal as far as a collector now is just being really committed to the, to the, the lines that I um, really grew up with because I sold... Uh, Pennywise, I sold Hellboy, I sold these like one-off figures just because I didn't really need them, you know, they didn't really mm -hmm. speak to me at the time. At the time they did, but I felt like at the time, right now, that someone else can enjoy them, you know, rather than me just kind of boxing them up or not give, not giving them the love that they needed. So um, I would say at the moment right now, my main focus is just collecting the figures because I'm, I'm living in space. You know, money mm -hmm. could be another issue, but space is a huge huge problem for us as collectors and you know not just the figures but also the box where you're gonna put the boxes and stuff mm -hmm. um so at the moment right now i'm just i'm still currently selling a lot of figures you know i'm selling some things i don't need and <laughs> having figures like the bane you know when i want you know when i when i look at for instance like pennywise i'm like would i have that or would I have bane from the dark knight yeah, uh, yeah, yeah the dark you. Night, you know what i mean yeah so yeah, yeah. Uh, i just look at that now you know i i, I look at things i'm like oh because there are some moments where when I was selling a figure, I'm like, oh man, I'm like, when I sold them, like when I'm boxing it up, I'm like, oh, I'm regretting selling it. And I'm thinking like, oh wait, there's figures like Bane that are coming out or like Dune, Paul Atreides, or, you know, the inner Batman. I'm like, I could really use those funds for other things. And mm -hmm. um, so I, you know, I use that motto. And, and so, you know, uh, but yeah, I would say my, I would say I'm not hoarding anymore. As far as figures, mm -hmm. I'm more um, fixated into the things I want to collect and things that I have a, a huge passion for. Uh, mm -hmm. At the moment, right now, as we speak, I have four 501st clone troopers coming on the on the way. The uh, uh, the, the animated versions, yeah. Correct, but I got them for a really good deal. Like yeah, you know, yeah. like I think if you use the sideshow prices, it's like a four is like twelve hundred. I got them for five hundred. So you, you got four for five hundred. Five hundred, oh, near five hundred dollars. Yeah. So man, I was like, that, yeah. that's as cheap as it gets, man. And you they're know? deluxes, by the way. So they they come yeah, with yeah. all the accessories and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I have one already right there on display, but I have mm -hmm. three coming in. Uh, so I can't wait for that. So um, what's the plan? Is there going to be like a 
an Anakin or an Ahsoka in front of them? That's like a little. Yeah. They're gonna be I mean, flanking I do, something, or I I do have the dark side Anakin. I I don't mm -hmm. know about Clone Wars, Ahsoka. I'm so I'm kind of like it's not something that I'm. It's it's not a it's not a good looking figure. I'm kind of waiting on the Ahsoka line version because mm -hmm. I know they, they you know there's a flashback with the season seven. So I'm hoping mm -hmm. that they would release that one. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely a Clone Wars display is happening for sure in the future because I'm already done with my No Way Home display. I love it. Uh, but Clone Wars line display is definitely <laughs> going to happen for sure. So. Yeah, I can see um, uh, you got Electro there and Goblin and Doc Ock as well, I'd say, yeah? Yes, yeah, and the Spider-Mans are like on the three. Uh, yeah, you see them there, man. It looks great. The um, yeah. That Doc Ock, like, head sculpt aside, I, I was blown away by it. Like, the yeah. build quality on those tentacles are insane. It's really nice. When I was doing my video on it, the only thing I had a problem with is the arms. I feel like you cannot wrap the arms a lot. You know, when you see in the films and when you, you know when, you, when Spidey's wrapped around with the, mm -hmm. the tendrils, I'm like, you can't do that with with the hot toys, which is yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you, it's the hardest figure to pose because I I'm a guy that makes things look natural. I want I want it to look mm -hmm. as realistic as possible on the shelf. And sometimes these figures, they, they make it look like toyetic sometimes. I'm mm -hmm. like, nope, I have to be fixated. Because those arms, mm -hmm. you have to make them look good. Because if not, it's just, I was sweating in that video. I, it was a, it was a, it was a gym on itself. I, I went to the gym <laughs> on that one. I was, yeah, yeah. Oof. But yeah, no, it's, it's a great line for sure. But yeah, Clone Wars is, so it's my next uh, fixed goal. Uh, mm -hmm. focus on. so that's your that's your kind of direction your collection really at the moment like yeah i mean dc at the moment right now is, is there's nothing big i mean i have the nr joker we but we both have it. it's a great looking mm -hmm. piece it's my mm -hmm. favorite figure in the collection these two figures mm -hmm. uh and then I, you know i have the the batman and the justice league so like right now <laughs> dc is kind of on the sideline besides like bane i'm definitely gonna get bane other than that yeah, 100 percent. Kind of like, 100 percent. yeah 100 things are kind of like off the air so yeah, yeah. Good stuff. I'm going to address uh, some chat and do some basic uh, housekeeping. So I'm pretty sure you know this guy. So Riley oh, yeah. checking in on you. Do you I mean, still he's pretty small. Riley? He's, been, uh, <laughs> he's pretty small. He's not that local, you know. No, Riley, yeah, I love yeah. Riley, man. Riley's yeah. been hitting the gym, man. If you've seen him. Um, All right. Yeah, I, I, I follow him on his real account, uh, on his uh, uh, private account. And he's been... I mean, I would say like he's... So the, been, the, one, he's the, wonder, the Wonder Twins do things together then, is it like... Yeah, I mean, we, we live in yeah. two different places, but I guess we do these things that are like similar. So yeah, I mean, I, I love Riley, man. Riley has been kicking it, and you know, for a guy his age, around my age, and it's just kind of like I'm really proud of Riley. You know, where where he has come. So good stuff, good yeah. stuff. Thanks for checking in, Riley. We got a Mark attack as well. Uh, Riley was summoned by the Batman talk. Yeah. We got action in the box as well. Thanks very much for being here. And of course, uh, we got a uh, uh, Mitchell Lawrence. Well, I don't like the. Super different color troopers. I'm good with the original design. I presume you don't like the um, the exclusives and stuff like that, or the chrome troopers, or the porcelain troopers. Yeah, I, I was I get tempted. That. I, get that. I was really tempted on the the trooper, the battlefront trooper that came out a couple of weeks ago, but I was like, no, nah, I'm good. The umbra. Yeah, yeah I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same. Good. That's uh, it's, I just don't have a connection to it. I don't play the game, so it's probably a wallet's a bit safe. Yeah. Right. Before we move on, uh, just uh just a few basic things so thanks to the 3183 subscribers if you're watching now and you're not subscribed and uh, you're getting some sort of value or enjoying the content please uh, consider clicking that like and subscribe button so shout out to the channel members you get two tiers trooper and commander and as usual there's a link to if you want to join the channel membership and it's that's pinned uh, pinned comment in the live chat as usual so the troopers so we got Kenneth Jacobson, brand new uh, uh, channel member, joined today. Danny Spotchka, H and Silver Fox, Jose G Hernandez, Brian Wong, The Ben Thomas Show, Eddie Money Mendez, Caffeinated Comic Fan, Jim Collector, Lancelot's Nerd Corner, Mugwump, Mike L, and Ryan Smith. And then, of course, the, the commanders as well are like so. <laughs> Uh, new videos on the channel we got this is the newest one I put this up today in art uh, my thoughts on those uh, those photos that were kind of a bit underwhelming yesterday he does look a little upset but then again his parents were murdered and he's devoted himself to beating people to death to a pulp dressed up as a bat so he's probably gonna be a bit emotional about that but uh, yeah so the um, that is up now live on the channel uh, what else do we got 
So upcoming videos, we got Mario in episode 54, which is also a 2.0 Visions. And then finally on Thursday week, we're going to have an interview with Yoast. Really looking forward to this because I do have the 89 on order. Which brings me to a nice segue. Next question. Vehicles. I think Ooh. you had the bat pod. I think. I I do. I do. Yes, you you're do. correct. I, okay. I have it boxed up at the moment, but yeah. I yeah, do. it's a big box as well. I'm glad I got that one first because if the, I, I remember thinking, if this is this big, what would a Tumblr look like, or what would a '89 <sighs> Batmobile look like? You know. Yeah. So where do you where do you stand on vehicles? Do you is do you have any more besides the bat pod, or is, I know you're stuck for space. Do you yeah. have any do you have any other vehicles, or do you have any other in pre order, or do you have any interest? So I'm very interested. I'm very, very interested. At the moment, right now, I only have the bad bot. Um, but at some point, when I do have a bigger display, a bigger space, vehicles are definitely going to be in the collection. I mean, if I can, if I can go hunt down um, the Batman vehicle, the Ben Affleck vehicle, and also the, um, I mean, you can get the the Christian Bell one for really, really cheap at this point. So like that one as well. Yeah. If I have the option, I would. <clears throat> 100 percent get it because honestly when you have the vehicles i think i'm only particularly into the batman not so much with star wars marvel and stuff like that i mean when it comes to batman with their vehicles it's it's beautiful man i actually riley was was uh doing a live on instagram with uh will and uh and kiko and he showed off his um his jazzing the batman mobile and it looked amazing i mean with the whole the 2022 sp- correct yes uh the 2022 mm-hmm. and the smoke coming out of the the back i'm like I'm, I gotta tell you, man, that that's a really impressive piece. I mean, for fifteen hundred and for what they've implemented, it's just it's it's worth the price. I mean, mm-hmm. when you have things like you know Jazz Inc. doing things now they're licensed even better, mm-hmm. um, makes it even worth it. I mean, when you're paying that much for a, for a vehicle, it, you have to have all those features. I mean, the next thing, what's next? Drive make it drivable or something? You know, with a remote yeah, control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I love vehicles, particularly the Batman vehicles only. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm not against it. I think. You know, for people who have the the display and who have the space, yeah, why not? I mean, if I had mm-hmm. it, I would do the same thing. I mean, I'm, I'm currently waiting on some of the cases for the bleed bookcases to come in, in IKEA, and I'm going to be displaying the bad part with uh, with Christian Bell Batman. Excellent, uh, excellent. Because, Looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. But yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not against it for sure. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. The um, yeah, I have that. I had the Hot Toys um, Batmobile 1989 on order. And oh, then wow. the prototype of the Jazz Inc. won me over. So I actually got onto Lion Rock Toys and go, look, I've seen the prototype of the Jazz Inc. I know yeah. you don't stock that. I'm going to go with that. Is there any chance I can cancel and transfer my deposit onto the Tumblr? And therefore, you're not going to lose out money. And I still get to get the Tumblr. And, you know, lucky enough, they accommodated me on that. And, um, yeah, so I have the Tumblr, but I have it in box because I'm waiting on... I'm replacing the risers I have underneath here with two module cases that are will serve as risers but also vehicle display so at the That's moment it's uh, yeah and we'll move these up a bit higher which will capitalize there's about maybe a foot and a half of vertical space that i'm not using here which it just makes perfect sense so uh really looking forward to that so it'll be another kind of a build and a review and um, a collection tour inevitably uh, at some point in the next few months but uh, yeah the um something i was gonna if you had to pick one so actually this is what it was I, i'll get onto that in a minute i know you'll appreciate this um i i I love one of the things I, I, I recently, well, okay, years ago, I stopped buying DVDs and I just went straight onto Apple TV and I just have all my stuff on. Right. And then I'm starting to get into the 4K Blu-rays now for numerous different reasons. I'm not going to bore you with. But one of the things I really miss about DVDs, if you get the box set and stuff like that and the nice package and whatever, is the additional special features. I love hearing directors talk about how to design the bat suit or the tumbler or whatever. But I was yeah. watching a special feature about the behind the scenes of the Dark Knight trilogy. It's about an hour and ten minutes. I'll link it to you after this. Ooh, I watched it. To watch. I watched yeah, yeah, good it. stuff, good stuff. I watched. Did you see the bit where Nolan actually didn't originally intend on having a Batmobile in Batman Begins? Because he wanted it like rooted really rooted in reality. And yeah. the producers came to him and said, to be honest, like you're you're this, these people who were marking this at they they're you know, they're adults they would have grown up with batman who had always had a batman it's more of an emotional thing and they, that's how they sold it to nolan and nolan was right okay <laughs> we need to do this but how do we do this and make it fit in our world or real world i, I just right i loved all that man because the tumblr was awesome like 
Yeah, man. The Tumblr is, I mean, I grew up, like I said, Tobey Maguire is my all time favorite Spidey and Christian Bell is my all time favorite Batman and uh, Bruce Wayne. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Tumblr is a, is a scary thing when you see it on. When I first saw it on screen when I was a kid, I was like, I was amazed and how it, it, I was scared by it, to be honest. It was one of those vehicles where it was so intimidating to the mm -hmm. eye compared to mm -hmm. if you were, if you were, okay, that chase scene with the, the cops. And that mm -hmm. begins when it was crushing those cops, cop cars. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, at this point, the cops should just run away and not even deal with mm -hmm. it at this point because it's it's a it's a beast. It's and, funny. Um, we don't use yeah. guns, but I will crush your head. And yeah, I'll my crush, big tumbler, yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> I don't use guns, but I can use my car. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry exactly. About it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I know it's yeah. I, it's it's interesting that Nolan had the idea when I when I heard about it, too, and I was watching. I was like, really? But obviously, Nolan is a is a is a great director. I know he's is into the realistic side of things mm -hmm. and bring into harshly, you know, bring ground to the reality of things. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, he did it with the Batman, you know, with those, the, the trilogy of, of of the Dark Knight, and <clears throat> it, it turned out to be one of the best trilogies of of, mm -hmm. of Batman. So yeah, yeah no, I knew there was yeah. a reason I invited you on here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, mean, we, we have I, I remember, I remember you, you loved. Uh, I remember you loving the Dark Knight trilogy, right? Have you oh, seen yeah. um, Oppenheimer? No, I haven't. I really mm -hmm. want to, but I've heard. I know I want so many Oscar buzz with Robert Downey Jr. getting a supporting mm -hmm. actor and also Killian Murphy. Great. So yeah. I cannot wait. I think it won Best Soundtrack, I believe so too, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it did as well. Yeah, because it, it's yeah. interesting. He usually works with Hans Zimmer, but Hans Zimmer uh, was working on other projects and stuff like that. Actually, Dune and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. he, I believe, the guy who did the soundtrack or the score for Oppenheimer is the same guy who did the score for The Mandalorian. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Like you know, so um. Yeah. Matt, right next question i'm gonna give you another good one so let, let's say um this is the kind of in terms of linking say today's episode with the episode we did two years ago this is kind of the last question just bridging that gap but what would you say the biggest difference is uh, in your collecting habits between the collector you are today and the collecting you were the collector you were two years ago what's the kind of if you had to pinpoint the biggest difference what do you think it would be i would say the biggest difference is that i'm more I, like I mentioned before, I, I'm more clear with my intentions and in collecting more. I feel like now I've realized that you can't collect everything. You know, I, I had this thing with this idea where, oh, I'm going to get everything. You know, I'm going to get the I, at some point I had this crazy idea of having two Venoms from the Venom film. I'm like, oh, I have one pose that, but one, you know, um, uh, just in a standard pose. I'm like, yeah, that's not feasible in my for, for my age. It's not. So I would say I've, I've became more smarter when it comes to collecting. I've 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 looked at it as far as, you know, because I'm in business. So like, you know, I look mm -hmm. at it, I, I was like, OK, how would this do me if I were to sell it, you know, in time? You know, like if, if, if mm -hmm. I make enough money, if I don't like it too much, I like resell it now. Uh, but I would say I've, I've became really comfortable uh, and just letting go. Of, of mm -hmm. certain things you know i wasn't mm -hmm. i was so fixated into having everything i was just like oh no i'm too i, I want to keep everything and mm -hmm. um and that's just it just doesn't make sense uh mm -hmm. over time you get to the point where you, you need those funds for other things and um but yeah i would say i became a lot smarter with space and money for sure and picking the things that i truly love and um yeah, no, I, and yeah, I would say that would be the, because if you had seen me a year ago, if we we're doing another live stream, my collection was like, it was nasty. Like the amount of figures I had, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good sight. Uh, but now that I've trimmed a lot of that fat, I would say now I'm in a better, better space at the moment. So, mm -hmm. um, and I have more, um, more space to fit more of my iconic figures like Bane, mm -hmm. um, possibly the red and blue suit you know like these iconic characters like from the dark knight trilogy uh but yeah i would so say it sounds like you've really refined your collecting and you're more excited about what's in your collection now than before there was a few ones you're just like yeah it looks cool but anyway. yeah i mean I, you know I, you know i'm young so you know usually at, at that time i was very naive and you know and i was thinking like oh, oh no, it's feasible it's really not you know when i'm when i was watching you you know and i was watching the other collectors that are giving out points like oh you know it doesn't make sense to have all these figures you know it's good it's good to have them but do you really need them is there something yeah. that for you to like oh that you can appreciate every day like and you can appreciate the artistic whereas when i was looking at my other figures like hellboy i'm like it's yeah it, it's good you know it's mm -hmm. whatever but this figure right here next to it is amazing and mm -hmm. I, when i was thinking like wow i'm not giving too much appreciation 
to to the other figure and i know the way how i think it is like to me it's like these things are to be appreciated because they're art they're a work of art and you're supposed to appreciate them from time to time there should be and when you get to the point where um it's sort of like uh yeah I, I, no i don't love it too much and when you have that when you're in that time it's just kind of like okay i'm sure there's someone out there that could enjoy it and as much as i used to so mm -hmm. i've i would say yeah i've really changed as far as what i collect from now on uh, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things coming out now you have jazz you have jazz ink you have hot toys being the king of, of collecting now and uh in art getting there as well and J and D making that joker figure so like it's a lot of things coming you know so i have to really prepare myself in the near future because the future is unpredictable so you know you just never know uh what yeah, might come absolutely yeah because so, yeah, it's um, say, yeah. it's kind of like like i pass on a lot of things i like to get the things i love it's kind of like just something i do because but i think it's a lot easier for me say like you know who's probably twice your age a lot older and it's probably easier for me to be more rootless about what i'm going to get and what i'm not going to get because right i think the older you get you're like like when i was i was younger like definitely even like my taste in music when i was younger there's bands i listened to when i was younger i was like yeah i, I don't want to listen to them now and i don't want anyone to listen to them before you know yeah, what I mean? right, like, so right, like, right 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 you know there's a lot of guilty pleasures there and stuff and even ones was like no i just no i, would, I wouldn't listen to them but then there's a lot of bands who i would have listened to when i was 16 and I still love them today because they're just amazing artists. Um, right. And I think it's kind of like that with movies and it's kind of like that with figures as well. Like, you know, so, um, yeah, it's uh, I think it's easier to do it when you're, when you're a bit older. Because, like, one thing I've started asking myself a lot lately is if I'm about to buy a figure, will I like it in 10 years' time? And it's very hard yeah. to answer that question. But if the answer is definitely yeah. no, it's like, eh, maybe hold off on that one. But there's right. definitely, like, I could, off the top of my head... Um, like you know your robocop your terminator your dx19 your joker right. your mandalorian it's like yeah i will like them and my voice just went really high right. there's flashbacks yeah. when i was 14 and my voice was breaking yeah. <laughs> was embarrassing. No. Yeah. And honestly Shane, you're right i mean like when you think like it's it's a hard question to ask yourself this is like when you look at a figure where where do you see yourself with that figure from five ten or fifteen plus mm -hmm. years but when it comes to characters that you're very certain like heath ledger or a christian well christian bell bamak could be something maybe because now they're making an nr one but mm -hmm. like things like the, you know like you mentioned robocop terminator like those things like you're for sure and you're like yep those are staying in the collection mm. no matter what i want yost to make that car man i want you to make that car which that, car um, it's 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 the uh the robocop ocp uh detroit cop car the one like it's on the cover oh, when he's getting out of well you should put a yes. bunch of weathering and bullet holes on there the ocp yes, yes, logo, yes. Do the oh interior. yeah that would be sick but uh really yeah cool. i think that could be uh i could be just wishful thinking there but um yeah look at it that's for a long way down the road if ever he would actually do that but i want to get that 89 in hand first and see what it's like so i'm interested Can I to wait? Him. Can I wait? it's much to it's much bigger than the hot toys right it's the... 10 centimeters more the um yeah. the car they used on set they used different cars but the yeah kind of the, the one-to-ones uh, car was uh 660 centimeters now i know wow americans just do inches and stuff like that but um so you divide by six it's 110 so yost's car is 110 the hot toys version is 100 so the hot toys one is slightly underscaled both of them are going to look amazing but i just felt i was like if i want to do this i really this is the car like this when i think of the batmobile as much as i like the tumbler and the 2022 and even the 66 or the animated i, I do think of the 89 first like you know um yeah. i know the 89 couldn't have been in the dark knight trilogy it wouldn't have made sense they needed something that was more like an armored attack vehicle and that's what they got with the tumbler right. um, i'm looking forward to speaking to the man and i'm looking forward to uh can't wait he's a good dude brain. i i I've, I've been watching a lot of his streams mm -hmm. like when you had him a couple of uh streams ago and when other people have him i mean he's a great guy uh to mm -hmm. talk with and um mm -hmm. you know i showed my dad that actually the jazz 89 he's like you're getting it right i'm like uh i don't know maybe we'll <laughs> see because space is an issue so but yeah that 89 mm -hmm. is just beautiful beautiful, yeah, beautiful it is absolutely absolutely um so the next question that i wanted to ask you is uh do you want to take a look at the in our batman photos that dropped yesterday you don't have to if you don't want to if you're keen to do that you can do that or you can move let's on do it. Yeah, cool. let's do it let's do it so um we want to take a look at that and then you can kind of just give us your thoughts about like sure just give what do you think about it like uh yeah. what do you think of like how they've done it but also like what do you think of what we see so mm -hmm. do, you, do you want to just start off with just just I'll run through the photos. You can tell me if you want to zoom in or go back to a photo or whatever. And just sure. what do you think about these? They say it's the final product. I don't know if it's released yet. It doesn't say it's released. It says it's the final product. But what do you think? Right. 
Wow, yeah. Um, so this released early morning when I woke up early. Um, and I was kind of like half dead, half awake. So I was like, oh, it's not that bad. And then when I went, when I actually woke up and I actually opened my eyes, I'm like, yeah, there's something about the head sculpt that isn't right for me. I mean, I understand like it's, it's, it's also obviously lighting angle has to add to it as well. You know, you have to add those things as well. Um, but as far as from neck down, it's beautiful. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's a great looking piece. I know a lot of people are kind of, um, uh, stressing over the, uh, you know, not getting it, you know, cause everyone's like, they go, Oh, you know, when's, when's it coming? When's it not coming? I know Riley is one of them. Riley just recently picked up the uh, hot toys version just to compare, uh, this to the N art. And I would do, I would say, um, the rooted is a little messy. Uh, I would say it's not as what we saw in the prototype. Um, it says it's a little, uh, maybe, a 10 to 15% drop, I would say, as far as the hair. Um, it's a bit puffy, isn't it? It's a bit puffy if I, if I do. So I was watching like, some clips actually before uh, joining the live because I thought we were going to talk about mm -hmm. it. Um, I was watching the clip where he takes the, uh, the mask off. Mm -hmm. And it's not as puffy as what we see in the film. And what they mm -hmm. showed in the prototypes, it's much more like that compared to what we see here as the final result of the product. I would say that the suit itself is amazing. And I can't look at it now when someone mentioned that his head looks a little too small compared to the body. I can't unsee that now. Yeah, I can't unsee yeah, it now. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. Some, and then I saw someone making like editing where the head is I, really yeah. small. It was really I, funny. I, I, like, that, that did make me laugh. Uh, yeah, I was like, like, wow. And now looking at it, I'm like, yeah, I, I see it now and I can't unsee it. But realistically, you know, when you pay for these things, a, a lot of people would, would display the, the helmet. Uh, the masked version of, of this character and um i don't know i'm still deciding if i want to pick this up or not uh but it it's it's a really good piece i would say it's a lot more accurate to the hot than hot toys but i love the mm -hmm. hot toys i think the hot toys is a great substitute if you can't get this in hand you have the hot toys one mm -hmm. um or vice versa i know the hot toys one is hard to um it's harder to obtain at the moment mm -hmm. but uh i would say uh this is a great substitute as well i mean when you i mean it's just uh, what I would say is that they really what they got accurate compared to the Hot Toys one is the chest. The chest is much more aligned to the same colors as the actual ab, like the fabric nice. material that they used. Because the Hot Toys one is a different material compared to the chest armor and also the the lower uh, abdominal section. Um, and I would say the color pattern is much because I'm I'm like Riley, man. I, to me, uh, I watch a lot of behind like we mentioned. You mentioned before the 4K behind the scenes stuff. I always mm -hmm. watch those just to compare um and see what are the subtle differences and what are similar and i would say when i was comparing between this the hot toys one the, not including the head sculpt i would say the nr1 nr1 is much more accurate compared to what mm -hmm. hot toys has uh given us um mm -hmm. but yeah i mean this is as far as mobility wise i don't know how it's gonna be when it comes to posing i'm kind of scared because the the nr joker is as we know it's you can pose like it's a spider-man figure you know you can pose it all day you know and, and you won't have issues with it um mm -hmm. the only the issue the I have, is pretty stiff as well on that I, I find the joints are quite stiff it's good like yeah it's, uh, it's good but it's annoying at the same time because i'm just trying yeah. to push the arms up and i'm just it, it's but it's a good thing don't get me wrong it's a very mm -hmm. good thing but another issue i have is the magnetic base i don't know about you i live in an earthquake uh state you know i live in california so like if an earthquake happens you know that figure will definitely drop you know what i do before leaving the house or something if the earthquake does happen all of a sudden i would shake my cases before mm. uh leaving right just to make sure earthquake if earthquake happens it could handle it and when i mm -hmm. did it with the inard one it was about to fall yeah um and that that's is so weird because like we would you're obviously on a fault line and ireland isn't that's Correct. like something we wouldn't even have to consider like you know nope. it, it's it's um yeah that that's mad that you have to do that like but it's it's probably good just to make yeah, sure just, you've got them uh, in solid poses like yeah, California's good, but the main issue is obviously the hair, the uh, the earthquake and stuff. But yeah, I always do it every time I leave the house, and uh, even when I'm sleeping or something, you know, I'm just just making sure. I hope to God there's no earthquakes happen in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, it's it's a great looking piece. I think for Riley, I know Riley's been waiting and waiting and waiting for it, um, and I can't wait for him to have it in hand. And I might have it too. I just I have to see more photos for it to convince me into picking it up. I know that one six kid has him. 
I don't know if Line Rock Toys has them. I know you're uh, affiliated with Line Rock. Yeah, so. they um, Line Rock are funny. Like certain things goes up. A lot of their third party stuff goes up on pre order, and some of the right. kind of bigger things, in art stuff, they put up for pre order. But then some of the hot toys they don't. And then what they usually do is when they actually get released and they out, then they put them up onto the site. Like you know, but you right. can pre order from. But you have to reach out to them directly. But yeah, I'm, cool, I've cool. got the single rooted on order from Line Rock. Nice. I'm looking nice. forward to it. I have the. The, the Hot Toys Deluxe with the modular base and the signal uh, ordered and everything paid off. Nice. But the um, I was looking forward to this. Like I don't know what the plan is. Do I keep them both or whatever? Um, but this here, like I, I still want it. I find just these photos a bit underwhelming. I'm not sure. It's yeah. strange. It's like, do you know when Hot Toys um, release something that's like boom, just like it's a post on their yeah. official Facebook and Instagram. It's a bunch of different blogger photos. And it says, you know, we're delighted to announce and they make a big deal about it. Whereas in our kind of these weird soft releases, they leak out a few photos and there's like, is it out? Is it not out? Because it doesn't say it's out. It says these are the final right. product images. But the final product images look a little underwhelming. So right. I'm hoping it's just poor photography it's, or something. But yeah. Maybe that's wishful it, thinking like i said everything adds to it. the lighting the angle so i mean we're looking at it as a you know this is behind the scenes if it is i mean it looks to be the final product because they made multiples of them so i would i would think it's final product you know they said it'll be shipping out pretty soon i would say mm -hmm. um but yeah I, this is something i will definitely have it on the sidelines for sure i want to see other people having i can't wait for uh, riley's review and i'm sure you're doing a review on it too right shane or yeah definitely, what are you thinking yeah, about yeah. it so yeah, there you go so i mean um yeah, I, I, I'm in love with the Hot Toys one. I love that the fact that it comes with the bat signal and everything, and um, I'm pretty content with that. But if, if something changes, I would, uh, I'll probably get this one as well and, and see which one goes and which one stays. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, I, as far as what you're getting, I mean, I, I was I was actually surprised it came with a flashlight. I was like, wait a minute, he had a flashlight in the film? I'm like, oh, yeah, he did have a flashlight. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And, and he proper comes detective. With yeah exactly yeah so and he also comes with a computer as well uh, and i was like oh wow i did not even know that um, i think that's the um i think i think they have that only in the all-in pack if you if you get the rooted batman bruce wayne and the signal i think that's like a bonus accessory that is locked behind that set maybe i'm oh, wrong no, no. But... You, you you can get it with the single rooted one okay if you get yeah, a single right. rooted yeah I yeah i saw that. i was i saw the um I saw it on one six kit. They have it up, and they had the the computer as well with the single rooted one. So yeah, you do get it. Interesting. As well. Good um, stuff. But yeah, man. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm, all I'm waiting for is Selena Kyle, a Selena Kyle Catwoman as well. So I, th I think that ship has sailed, man. I don't think it's going to happen, but it it, hey, be, it was an internet breaker if it does. It. I mean, you, you. We've seen a lot of crazy things from them, or you know, from Hot Toys. I mean, they would do things late. I mean, I'd still think they would still do a Batman. I mean, uh, the Batmobile at some point. I mean, yeah, that, that I, I, I wouldn't rule that out either. Yeah, I wouldn't rule that so, out. Yeah. So um, I just want to address some of these chats here. We got one of uh, my panel members and channel members on the Hope Show every Monday night, Jose Plus, hey. the fact checker. He goes by many different names. Uh, <laughs> he um, he took me to the cleaners there last night. Anyway, I I, uh, I got Ian to make the the um, the 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 questions for la, uh, Monday night and mm -hmm. uh, I, I went up toe to toe man he got some questions right I don't know how he <laughs> nearly answered them that so uh, yeah definitely more respect for Jose but uh, look we will meet again we will meet again I'm not giving I'm not, I'm not giving up so easily um, earthquakes happen very often in the middle of the night or at least in my yep. experience man that is crazy Boba yep. Fettuccini thank you very much for being here hope you're feeling better uh, we were messaging um, uh, last week on uh, Instagram there um love lion rock i just got an invoice from them today for the new so so gentle moon uh moon night mr night i think that's the one with the really good uh isaac yep. uh, oscar isaac uh, head yep yep correct yeah and iron king saying it you're confirming that uh, i stand corrected from kg and uh, iron king it does come with the single rooted i'm you know what i just think we've seen this before from inert they put out some photos they're kind of dodgy. Everyone gets annoyed, and then boom, the Fisher release turns out fantastic. So Correct. I'm hoping that there'll be a bunch of photos in the next few days where we could be like, all oh, right, this yeah. is it. And everyone's like, it's nearly like they do it on purpose. You know, is that what yeah. you're thinking? Maybe yeah, no, it's not. I mean, I was I was the same thing with the Joker. I was like, 
Uh, it's not looking too good here because I found the. Remember the shoulders, the shoulders image. Yeah, where the shoulders were really square and the tie was, was a mess. And... Yeah, I was just like, ooh, uh, no, 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 it doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. And then I saw other people having when they're futzing with it. I'm like, yeah, it, I, I stand corrected. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I have the the uh, the jail cell next to me here, and it's that jail cell is just. It, I mean, when it comes to paying for what you're getting. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great. So I would say just wait, be patient, you know, wait for more photos. You know, I think they're shipping out. I heard from Riley on a stream on and say he said he was in contact with NR and they said they're shipping out anywhere between in a week or two of this uh, this month. So interesting. Um, Good stuff. Yes, yeah, so we'll be Good seeing stuff. more photos for sure. Brilliant. So uh, before we go on any further, we just uh, need, I've got some footage of uh, Jose from the Hope Show last night. <laughs> Is there no one else? <laughs> there wasn't. There wasn't. There wasn't. So, um, the next question I have for you. Okay, this is kind of an exciting one. Um, so, do you have any pre-orders currently? Currently, I'm in the no pre-order at the moment. Well, I have a few things on pre-order, but I'm not pre-ordering anymore. That, that's something okay. I just I, I don't feel right putting my money for a year or two mm -hmm. in a company yeah. it's just kind of like uh no i'm good where i can find it for cheaper at some point so i'm like yeah, okay. i'm fine um currently i have the darth vader from kenobi on pre-order i ordered that last minute because Same. when i went ahead wait list i'm like okay that i usually wait when it hits wait listed when, when it's about to hit wait list i'm i order it right away um so i have that on pre-order i have the kenobi kenobi on pre-order and then I I will eventually be pre-ordering Tick from the Bad Batch because I have the rest of the Bad Batch except for Crosshair. I'm still in the search for Crosshair. The elusive um, Crosshair. Yeah, I mean that that's that was a, a crazy one. Uh, it's it's a hard figure to find. I mean, there's people actually at the moment scamming. Uh, you know, I got a few scams uh, from people like, oh yeah, I have it, and they would like digitally put their uh, their um, time stamp. I'm like, yeah, nice try, buddy. Nice try. It's like photoshopped or something or. Fo yeah, I uh, yeah. There's a lot of so be 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 on the lookout. If someone's scamming you, they're doing something like that. Don't trust. Mm -hmm. But um, I, don't, uh, I will be pre-ordering the Bane. I'm just kind of waiting to see where that once it hits wait list. I'm like, okay, now pre-order it. And then anything else, I'm sort of fifty fifty on the red and blue suit from No Way Home. I don't know mm -hmm. about that one. I'm kind of like maybe possibly. But yeah, my pre-order, my pre-orders are pretty short this year. If I if I do this, if I do this myself, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not as big as it was the previous years. I had like 10 or 12 figures mm -hmm. on pre-order. Now this year I have like three or four. Yeah. So it's You're not as much selective. as it was last year. You're being more selective. That yeah. too, but nothing's really interests me. I mean, Marvel's kind of been on, in the in the in the cave at this point. I mean, they're not yeah. they're not doing You're anything. Speaking the truth. So yeah, you're speaking the truth. Other, other than Deadpool that's coming out, which I cannot wait. And you already know yeah. The amount of figures that are coming out of that film is going to be crazy. That's where we'll so. see how selective you you really are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for sure, Wolverine's coming. I have Wolverine's coming. A Deadpool's coming. I'm sure you're going to get Deadpool and Wolverine at, in the film as well. So. Do you think we? It, it has to be almost a given they're going to give us the yellow suit Wolverine. But do you think they're gonna? He's going to wear a mask in the movie or will we just yeah. get the new jacqueline heads do you think he's gonna wear a mask well i don't know if you if you are really into like the news I, i'm always on twitter so like twitter is the best when it comes to the when it comes to leaks and stuff uh i'm sure you've seen it where someone leaked the mask uh that he's gonna be wearing um, i've seen ones but i thought they were ai or no they're real do you know uh oh, they're, right, they're, okay. so like so uh now they're doing like toy products they're showing like the images of because you know they usually have this characters on the side of the boxes and stuff like that so yeah uh, it's shown on uh, a couple of um, uh, toy products where now you see Hugh Jackman with the with the helmet, uh, with the, nice. the mask on, and it's comic book accurate. Uh, it's just I cannot wait with the white eyes and stuff. Um, so I cannot wait. I mean, it looks good, and uh, yeah, I do say uh, we're gonna get the mask as well. And I do have the um, Days of Future Past Wolverine, uh, not the new one. I have the old mm -hmm. one from 2014. And I I'm also have the, the 19, it's 1979, isn't it? Yeah, I was not I'm really impressed that by that one. Yeah, I'm, be, I, I, I'm getting that one because I really like Days of Future Past, and also the fact that it's real leather. And it's, do you know what it is? It's this simple. I know that the Wolverine is coming out, the yellow one, and that's going to yeah. be like the first port of call. 
but yes. I like the way it's such a unique piece. You, like it's he's just dressed in like vintage clothing. He's all kind of like it's western nice. or stylish looking, and then you get the the, the genuine um, brown leather jacket and the bone claws. They're growing on me, but adamantium would be that would be for the yellow suit. So um, correct. Yeah. yeah, and I was just I just think that would stand out as something so different on the shelf as well. Like you know, yeah. So um, so Shane, I have a question for you. so. I know you have a Deadpool in the collection. I know. What are you ask. going? Are you going to sell that one to get the new one? Because I know you're very selective. I know that yeah. you're a guy that collects things that you want. You don't. I don't think you duplicate. You don't do doubles. Oh, right? I do. I'm, I do. There's certain characters like Iron Man. Certain characters, I, yeah. I, I, like I, Iron I, Man. It's disgusting amount of Iron Man. Like as in, if I count them all up, right? So what will do this? So. By the way, there was actually twelve Iron Man out there that I would would love to pick up but i i, I just won't right. you know like the yeah. mark 5 the mark 7 the mark 4 and uh, don't even get me started on quarter scales and stuff but like currently oh, wow. in the collection i've got the mech test tony downstairs the uh mark Very 3 nice. 2.0 which is next level if someone's wow. getting I'm, one iron man from the mcu that is the one to get I think. i'm debating on that one i'm so debating good. on that one it's you will not be disappointed like if if there's someone out there who's just an Iron Man fan and you want to get one Iron Man to rule them all, that's the one. As much as the Mark Six is my favorite, that Mark Three is spectacular and it'll be just a perfect okay. representation. So there's Mech Test Tony, the construction version, which was gifted to me by a member of the community who wishes to remain anonymous. Um, the Mark Three 2.0, the Mark Six behind me, the Battle Damage Mark 85, and the Mark 47. That's like six, and then there's like the Mark Three quarters. So that's seven. Like that's that's a lot of Iron Man. That's a lot of Iron you know? Man. I only have two. I only have two Iron Man in the collection, but... Yeah. Bet you have the Battle Damage Mark 85. 100%. Nope. That's not even a question. Yeah. No, I do. I do. Yeah, 100%. Do, yeah, 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 of course. And I have the clean 85. Um, yeah. Oh, you've both. But I do. I have both, yeah. But I, I think I might sell the clean 85 to get a new Iron Man at some point. Because I, I, I mm -hmm. they're too similar to the point where I'm like, I do want that Iron Man 1 uh figure the 2.0 that you mentioned the mark 3 mm -hmm. so uh yeah like uh, iron man it's it's a loophole i mean the to me the hall of seven is if i were to click iron man it'll be the hall of seven the hall of seven mm -hmm. armors are my all all-time favorite suits of all time and they're the, the suits yeah. that i grew up with so mm -hmm. yeah no for sure yeah no yeah not it's um so to answer your question as i strategically yeah. deflected from it um <laughs> yeah. you know what uh, i I'm a terrible person for like dialing in a pose and I'm like, oh man, that's my like long-term pose. Like there's yeah. certain figures like the DX19, I'll repose regularly because it has a bunch of accessories. The right. uh, Beskar Mandalorian, I'll repose somewhat regularly. Again, a bunch of accessories, whether it's a flame or whistling birds, whatever. But then there's certain ones that I'm like, I dial in the pose. <laughs> okay, that there, you, that I yeah. just have it. That's what I want. And right. Deadpool from 2 is kind of like, I, I, I stole a Terry Smith um, uh, poser. You know, he, it's, did I get the name right? Terry Smith, the, the sideshow, how to be a po yes. poser? Yes, yeah, Terry yeah, Smith. Really, yeah, just, he, so. yeah he's, he's gifted. Like, he just makes those poses Very. look so good and so natural. So yeah. I, I stole a pose from him where, from Deadpool 2, he's got the katanas just in. He's got his guns in the holsters. And I like the way you're still using them, even though he's not holding them. Uh, right. He's got the knife in his little... Uh, is I think it's in his uh, boot, yeah, side it's boot, his yeah. Boot, yeah. yeah, and he's got the the training, uh, the trainee uniform on. So you have that yeah. pop of like uh, wine red, but also the yellow and black, which is kind of cool. He's holding right. the um, the the unicorn in one hand, and it's kind of making <laughs> yeah. fists with the other hand, and he's kind of yeah. he's kind of his eyes, the eyes he's using, are kind yeah. of annoyed about something. And I, I just really really like that pose. So I think I'd probably hold on to that and pose him up with. With cable because i love the cable figure as well right and then um have like if i was to get the new version i don't know will i get a new version but the thing is what are they going to do besides that the new deadpool from deadpool 3 is going to be a, a different uh shade of red i think it's kind of like brighter what brighter, are they going yeah. to include what else are they going to include that they haven't done before ryan reynolds head sculpt the hamburger face yeah exactly yeah. so like i'm gonna have to get the two of them so yeah, I think have... I'll get the two of them and rotate. I think that's more yeah. than I feel I'll do. I think we can both agree. Like I think Deadpool three is going to be the most. It's going to change Marvel at some, a, a, a lot. I mean, right now Marvel for is the just yeah. one hundred percent. I mean, I, I haven't even watched the Marvels. Um, I have. There's no need for me to watch it. But I, I heard confirm it was... there is no need for you to watch it. Yes. Yeah. So like, I mean, I know it's it was a box office 
uh, you know, it was an embarrassment, you know. So I made more money last week, teacher. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, there you go. So, I mean, it's just like Marvel has just have to, they have to really look at what they're doing and what they have to change. I mean, right now with the Kang thing that just happened recently, I mean, they're kind of in a, in a this, uh, they just don't know what they're doing at this point. I mean, they don't know what direction they're going to go. So, I mean, I know that Secret Wars is happening at some point, And I know that Doom, they're kind of thinking of doing Dune or Kang recasting Kang right now at the moment. So, um, yeah, we'll see the future of Marvel. But Deadpool 3 right now could change a lot of things. Uh, but mm -hmm. for sure, lots of cameos. That's confirmed. Mm -hmm. Lots of cameos happening. Maybe... I don't know. They might they might throw a loophole. Maybe throw a Kevin Feige figure out that maybe Kevin Feige might show up in the film and mm -hmm. Hot Toys will be um, doing exclusive Kevin Feige only a thousand mm -hmm. worldwide pickup or something. So they can keep that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, but yeah. I mean, things one like thing's that. for sure, right? If this movie, like, okay, think about what's going for it so far. Like the first two movies, I actually prefer the second Deadpool to the first Deadpool. And a lot of people, I'm in the minority there. Most people prefer the first one. I loved Zazie B's character. I loved the action scenes in it. The humor, the pop culture references, the fact that it was so meta and self-aware. Cable, I thought was awesome. So, but th there's two solid movies. So if they have this being the third installment, they could be on the track to being another one of those great trilogies. The fact then you have Ryan Reynolds, who's fantastic, was born to play Deadpool and is so heavily yeah. involved, and you got it like or rated in the MCU is cool. The fact then that you have Hugh Jackman playing, I'm not a Fox X Men fan, but I watch the movies because Hugh Jackman does enough in it yeah. to carry them through for me. But now you've got Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine in the yellow suit, sharing screen time with. It's not just Wolverine and Deadpool. I'm equally as excited as the fact that it's Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. So if yeah. they manage to nail this and do something so like resetting in this that corrects the course of the MCU and introduces, I don't know, X-Men or, or, or Doom or whatever, this is not just going to be like a really good trilogy. This could be like, he literally could be Marvel Jesus. Like Ryan Reynolds is up here, but he could, he could you know what I mean? Now He could, he could be the new president yeah. of Marvel. Who knows? I mean, President of that. America. Oh, that's no, Canada, actually. He's Canadian. Oh, okay, yeah, Canadian, yeah. So, I'm glad I, mean, yeah. I corrected myself there because I know Jose would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, I can't wait for that film. It's the only, it's the only Marvel thing that's coming out this year. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's good. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. So, yeah, can't wait. Really looking forward to it. And, like, I think, um, uh, I know I'm hyping that up big style, but, like, it's kind of like the expectations for me were set from one and two. Like, yeah. Say if you have one here, and then I think a two is here. All I want is it to be on the same level as two. Like, like as in, I'm not overhyping. I know I'm, I'm, I'm hyped about it because of all those things. I definitely am. But like, if the first one is here and the second one is here, all I want is that it's equals the second one or better. I, I'm not expecting right. it to go catastrophic. I have realistic expectations for it. I don't really think it's gonna fix the MCU ending. It has potential, but I don't really right. th think it will. But um. I, I, I do think we're going to see some sort of a take on the, the Marvel comics, um, Deadpool kills the Marvel Avengers. Universe or whatever. Yeah, Marvel yeah, Universe. Avengers yeah, or something yeah. like that. There's going to be some sort, there's going to be a lot of humor and hopefully good action, but um, I'm going to address some of these comments Go because I'm getting a bit behind, if you don't mind. Yeah. So I've got to scroll back a good bit because I've been fact-checked by Jose. Um, Jose, what did he say? Shane, have you watched? Yes, I've watched the first and second one. I enjoy them both. Although, Brad... Last year, at some point, when I realized, okay, all of the X Men '97 are uh, were on um, Disney Plus, I started rewatching them, but I didn't finish rewatching them all. I really liked the show in the '90s. Uh, you know, I thought it was just like this is like a way too cool cartoon for kids. I really, really enjoyed it, but I feel that I need to go back and rewatch them all because I literally haven't seen them since like what the '90s or whatever. But um, I really enjoyed the first two episodes, and I, I heard the third one is great, so I will be checking that out. Uh, Disney Green lit uh, a third season already. What did I miss here? Third Is season like of X Men ninety seven. Because I know that they have one. So I'm wondering, did they green it second and third or? Um, I heard that the director got fired, right? Yeah, he got fired. Yeah, yeah, he got fired. He got fired. Uh, so um, okay, so uh, maybe maybe that is X Men ninety seven. I know. I think they've greened it a second one. Um, can confirm, uh, said Leaks. I just looked it up as well, and I'm happy with that mask, yeah, especially with the white eyes. Um, so if they're doing that figure, which 
let's face it, there's not much else going on. That would be a no-brainer. Uh, biggest movie of the year, arguably. But then again, you do have Joker 2, which is be that's going to be yeah. Years, you can probably say that Deadpool versus Wolverine is probably going to be the summer uh, smash. Um, so hopefully, yellow suit, you Jackman head sculpt. Uh, hopefully, well, I like the 1973 one. I think they could do better, and with yeah. the mask. And it is 1973. I've been fact checked again. <laughs> that this guy is not human. <laughs> Philly, thanks for being here. I uh, really do appreciate that. Um, it's going to be all X Men from here, especially to cartoon taken out. I hope so. I think it's time. The, act, the you know, whether or not Ryan Reynolds can save the MCU, a decent X Men could, and um, a decent villain. <laughs> Yeah, you need a villain. You need it. You need a doom. You need a doom done right, or someone that's like, you know, um, cartoon has been better than most of the MCU X. Well, that wouldn't be hard, but yeah, I, I do want to. Uh, I can't disagree with that. This is a. I hope we get an X twenty three figure. I recently watched rewatched Logan. Oh man, so good. It's such so a good, good film. Such a good yeah. film. Shane, they can keep that one. Uh, come on, Hot Toys, get us some ter- Yeah, th- Philly, this is it. This is Philly. Um, you should hit me up on Instagram. I meant to say it to you when we're on the Ben Thomas show. If you ever want to come on and do an episode of Visions, uh, if it suits you, just hit me up on Instagram. I'll make it happen if, if that suits you. But yeah, yeah, I, give us a Terminator art design or whatever. I, I've yet to be um, burned by the art design because I haven't gone for anything yet because I haven't been interested in anything, but I, I would jump on that absolutely or a Ripley or something. Jose, I hate the kid from Deadpool 2. He ruins for me. I actually like him, but I think I'm a bit biased because I'm pretty sure he's Kiwi and it just reminds me of New Zealand because I just love the place. Um, right. And every now and then, myself and Megan would be doing something. Like, it could be something simple. We'd be like, uh, I don't take the dog for a walk or like, you know, doing something around the house. Like, you know, put up a curtain rail. And every now and then we go, we make a great team. So we kind of, we kind of try and do his <laughs> accent uh, not very well, but uh, it's just a little stupid thing that we do. But uh, Blurred Dad Life. Feige has a Hot Toys already, one and done. Does oh, he? yeah, that's right. Yeah, he does, yeah. Actually, uh, a couple of years ago, he was invited to a secret base and they made a Hot Toy figure from him for him. Ah, so, yeah. right. Very cool, that's very right. cool. So, one of a kind. Yeah. Um, so, who else do I have here? I think I'm going to find. Find him annoying. Don't buy Wade's sudden need to shave him. Set, shave him. Shave <laughs> him. <Save> him. <laughs> Why did he shave him? Uh, wanted Cable to blast it oh my god um i don't know man i i, I actually okay I, I accept your point i i but as usual i don't agree with you <laughs> <laughs> myself and jose had a had a i i wouldn't say it was i said it was a debate i don't I think debate was respectful but he said oh, it wasn't debate we we're just chatting he does not like in the dark knight rises that um bruce wayne managed to get back into gotham but i was like he's bruce wayne man like he has yeah, connections. Uh, it doesn't matter where he is. He'd have a guy with a stash house. Like if John Wick has one of those boxes with like several different passports. You know when there's like the Continental, right? There's different Continentals in different cities, and he can go in. It's like a safe place, and he's got a box with multiple different fake passports and some gold coins and you know a gun or whatever, and he can get himself sorted. I was like, surely Bruce Wayne had to hook up and get some like um, smugglers to smuggle him into Gotham or something like that. But um, I mean, he's Bruce Wayne. He can yeah. make anything happen. I, so. I thought so. I thought so. Prep time, you know. But um, myself and a. Uh, Jose had to degree, had to agree to disagree on that one, but the thing is, the whole thing about the whole show is we, I, I want differing opinions. It'd be boring if we're all thinking the same thing. Like so, yeah. So um, next question, have you? Sure. I actually loved the fact that you got me on a Deadpool three uh, tangent, <laughs> but uh, of course. Um, oh, this is probably my favorite question that I wrote out today. Okay. So um, let's see it. What What are the most hyped releases and announcements of the last year for you? So what are the releases mm. announcements? Like what were the what were, what were you like, I cannot believe they've done this, or I can't believe how good this figure came out? Wow, that, that's, uh, oh, wow. so the, the past two years, or, or like... Take your time, man, you can go one year, two years, take your time, whatever you want. Let's see, figure, okay, um, honestly, I would say maybe, um, in art, the NR Joker, I think, was a, was a surprise for me, I, I, I'd agree. and then, I, I'm sure there's another one, it's not... But yeah, I would say in our, the joke, I mean, we've been wanting for years. I mean, I the DX-12, I believe. Uh, DX-12. Um, was it? it? DX-11. Or DX-11. I think you might be. Yeah, DX-11. Is that the last Joker one? 
the, I believe the one with so. the, the, the table and stuff like that, was it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've been wanting and preaching to have uh, another uh, take f uh, of, of the Joker figure. And Inart has done it. And now now you have J&D doing it and stuff. But I, I'm telling you, like, I'm happy with, with the Inart. I don't see myself buying the Hot Toys one, you know. Uh, I, I love this figure. I mean, it's just, it's for what you're getting. For I got it for 1200 I think, shipped. I mean, for what you're getting, it's... Mm -hmm it's it's a it's a masterpiece i mean it's one of those figures where I, whenever i wake up and i see i'm like that's the first thing i see you can see it right behind me with with the christian bell batman i mean it's it's truly an outstanding piece that was an eye opening for sure and i and I, another another one too would be um uh oh uh it would be uh, the uh, upgrade suit goblin from no way home i mean that figure was to me there was an outstanding piece as well i mean the, the way it ca it came out was just it, I mean, it was it was impressive. It's it was definitely one of my favorite figures of that year, and then Cad Bane, that was a shock too. Another shock. It was Cad Bane. I don't know if you have Cad Bane, do you? Yeah, I, I picked that up. Um, you did, and that okay. would be like, um, I suppose that would be kind of like a borderline exception to my whole triple threat theory, uh, or I don't know what would you call it, a guideline that I tend to follow for myself because usually I have to love the character to source material in that source version material. yeah and um the source material being book of boba fed i didn't love however episode five and six they were Solid. phenomenal they were phenomenal Solid. like i yeah that was mandalorian 2.5 for me so yeah it's kind of one of those ones where like typically i'd follow that rule like you know 99 of the time but that was one which yeah you could probably justify but i just yeah i, uh, I, really I liked it i really want nr to do a peaky blinders thomas shelby at some point I really want a Thomas Shelby figure for sure. Yeah. I would love for them to do it. I mean, I know there's a movie coming out uh, with with with. Yeah, I know you have it. I know you have it. Thomas Shelby see, is one can of my. You see the, the plaque here. Yep. I see that's it right his there. Actual signature. So um, really. Th yeah, because um. Wow. Now, Big Chief Studios, like you, the likeness is there, but they have a habit of kind of even with their Doctor Who or Bonds, they come off a little yeah. bit plasticky and soft. So it's I'm not the flipped. inner quality. It's not the yeah. Hot Toys. You know the. Um, but like they're still great figures it's just yeah. the, the likeness isn't as good as the detail they're a bit soft and plasticky yeah. but the they released like uh, 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 Tommy and Arthur and they had a general yeah. release which weren't limited but then they had like a signature release which are a little bit more expensive and limited to 400 each but it's the actual yeah. actor signature on it I wanted to get them I had them in my cart the price was I couldn't justify it waited right. a few months they had this huge summer sale and yeah. it was like this is weird they were nearly half price and i was like am i have they done this by mistake these are definitely i thought it was just the regular versions but right. i was like add in my cart signature version limited to 400 autograph signature what is going on here bottom they shut up they liquidated <laughs> they liquidated they like um they were going out of business so they were selling off everything real cheap yeah no i mean I, it's just I, i've seen the product it's not as up to par as what you see in today's day and age correct but i would love to see how maybe not hot toys i don't know but maybe nr taking mm -hmm. taking um the plunge and making one because mm -hmm. i'm currently watching the show and i'm loving you know killian murphy his portrayal of thomas so shelby good. And, uh, so stylish. it's really good yeah. uh it's just it's it, I, when you have shows like that it's just it's it's the way it's like made and the way it's edited it's just oh man the character i grew i just i grew to love him the first episode the first episode i was like yep i'm, I'm in love with the character so yeah i would love for nr to do something like that i mean those like single characters i would love to get for sure but yeah those are my top figures in my collection that or that i found amazing and outstanding and i was out of surprise yeah mm -hmm. good stuff good stuff yeah um did you, do you, do you, just before we move on, do, do you watch yeah. Peaky Blinders with the, um, the subtitles? Yeah, I have to, because... So do it, I, and like, they're only like, it's a Birmingham accent, uh, see, so obviously like, you know, they're, it, it, Birmingham and England, like their, yeah, their accent is so strong, and even the yeah. way they say things, it's almost like some of the audio, sometimes you don't catch things, which actually makes it realer, but like, you, you gotta use i think that subtitles like the otherwise you I miss key points like you know i'm like i'm like what i have to like so i'm like you know what subtitles has to be there because i won't understand one thing they would say yeah, something yeah, key yeah, like you said definitely. a key important detail but yeah no, definitely, I have to subtitles. definitely i'm glad you're enjoying it though um yeah. okay so if you could pick 
any three figures that are out there, they could be figures that have been released. They can be figures that are on pre-order. Mm -hmm. um, if you could pick any three figures just to snap into existence right now, no questions asked, what, pe what three would you pick? I'm going to let you think about that for a second or two while I address some of these comments and then I'll, sure. I'll give you a chance to answer. And is it, and it, and it, is it sorry, is it past as well and present and future as yeah, well? Yeah, let's say if you wanted a DX13 or something like that, you could look, once it's actually been made or it's they've announced that it will be made, you know? Okay, sounds good. Cavill is tailored for Mr. Sinister, uh, especially being a fresh villain, the whole Summers family connection. Um, it would be perfect for the X-Men movie. Imagine a Mr. Sinister Hot Toys light up function with those black wings. I'm not even going to lie to you, Brad. I haven't a clue what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. Um, so pardon my, my ignorance here. Uh, we got Figurecraft saying it could be a good approach. Uh, I started Peaky Blinders, Shane, on episode two. So, yeah, you have to push through the first season. I think it really comes alive towards the end of the first season. You start to become mostly involved in it. And then, like, yeah. season two and three, just, yeah, come on. It's like rock and roll. Um, I've only watched... All right, sorry, Brad. Yeah, I've watched the, the two episodes, the, the first two episodes of X-Men 97. I haven't watched the third one, so that makes a lot of sense, yeah. I pick three artisan Michael Jackson's Thriller Red Suit, oh. Werewolf, and Beat It. Good stuff. And uh, in art are doing a, um, I suppose it's not artisan, but it's their own version of Michael Jackson, but it's, I, I think yeah. it might be the history tour from the look of it. I can't really remember. I think so, yeah. But that, 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 that's interesting, though, that, that he brought the artisan version because Hot mm. Toys could make one. Because I do mm -hmm. think... Yeah, they've done it before. I, I think they, they've done it before, and I do think they still hold the license of Michael Jackson, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, um, I yeah, an artisan Michael Jackson would be... Uh, I would say it would be worse if they do it. It would be worse than Anakin. When Anakin came out, oh, my God, Anakin yeah. was... Uh, oof, I didn't even want to... That, that was a nightmare to deal with. But, um, yeah, so as far as the three figures that, that you told me, so... I think number one definitely uh, Kenobi Vader. I mean, I think I know you're picking it up, so like I know that you're gonna get it. Uh, that that that's number one. Number two would be Bane from The Dark Knight Rises, and number three would be um, uh, what was it? Oh, I think honestly the '89 Batman, Michael Keaton, uh, the, the deluxe '89 Batman, because I, I I grew up with '89 Batman as well, and. Not as much as Christian Bale, but I, I have a, a, a love for the 89 uh, Keaton films. Uh, so definitely 89 uh, Keaton, for sure. And and if I do want to add one more, if, you said future, correct? If they were to make one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a Jack Nicholson Joker as well. So Nice, nice. I recently, yeah. after years of kind of keep my finger on the pulse and looking for that DX08, eventually found one at a price where I didn't have to give them a kidney. Um, uh, it was over retail, but it wasn't like silly prices, like uh, eight right. or nine hundred dollars, which some of them are going for silly prices on eBay. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, that's a it's a it's a great figure though. It's strange the way they haven't announced. Um, it's probably a licensing a, issue. You know what though? They said that for years about Harrison Ford. I think now all bets are off. Like after that Han Solo, you know. I think the reason why Harrison Ford was easier because he did come with Indiana Jones. That when Indiana true. Jones and, came out, yeah, so yeah. and now it was easy to obtain his license. I think the Hot Toys had the opportunity. To, oh, well, look at that! Now he's signing his license up. We should ask him for the Star Wars stuff. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows? I mean, if one day, because you know, unfortunately, we all die one day. So, like, if if if, if Jack Nicholson dies at some point, you know, um, maybe it might be easier to obtain it. I don't know, uh, but I I would love for them to do a two point I think that figure is great. Don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of things they could improve on. Uh, for sure um you know as far as accurate height better tailoring um better sculpt as well i mean sculpt is great don't get me wrong but they can make it even better oh i don't know, know man so. i think we that's probably the first time in the stream we got to disagree man i think the really the sculpt and the, yeah i really think the sculpt is they've it's so good when you when you have it in it's, hand it's like yeah. i'm surprised it's that good for a figure that's that old and the tailoring is quite good as well i think maybe I'm not sure about the height. Maybe you have a point there, but I'll tell you one thing: the ankles are loose on it. Yeah, like, I don't like using stands. The ankles are are loose, but that's probably because it's an old figure. Yeah, a Reeves Superman would be nice to have too. A Reeves Superman, another take of a Reeves too. Someone Did you see the well. um, yeah the in art um, 
kind of first early prototypes? Yeah, I wasn't too impressed by it, to be honest mm. with you. I mean, I was impressed with the Clark Kent, but not the Superman, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But hopefully they will uh, they will improve it, because I'll definitely yeah. buy it if they do. So. Er early prototype, I'd say. Yeah, early prototype. So the next question I got for you. Um, Go. Tell us about like a mistake that you made in your earlier collecting days that you would be like, yeah. okay, I'm not going to do that anymore, I'm going to be a better collector. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that that's a, that, I think we all have had this issue as a collector and uh and we've all made mistakes um for sure uh one thing was i like i mentioned before where i was following the hype mm -hmm. and when you follow the hype you kind of you're, you're um you you kind of lose yourself you know mm -hmm. in it and you're just kind of like oh you know you, you you all of a sudden it won't come to you now but once you keep following the hype and you realize oh I have all these figures I don't like, you know, mm -hmm. and I have them kind of in boxed up or they're on the floor, on the table. It's just kind of like, yeah, I mean, there was a point in time where I was watching Justin's videos or watching these other great, you know, YouTubers out there, these great content creators. And the way they talk is, I mean, they're, they know how to convince you for a piece. I mean, you were enabled. I was enabled really. I mean, we've, we've all gone through with that. I mean, me, I'm sure you as well, Shane and, and um you know nick and riley i think we've all have fallen that that train of hype and um i've kind of uh, learned from my mistakes you know i got hellboy i got nr thinking oh yeah i have a an a, emotional attachment to it but realistically it was more of um uh, following the hype and just mm -hmm. because everyone has it i have to have it yeah, um it's, it's something it's good that you recognize that as well yeah, yeah yeah i mean it's just it's something that i in after like money spending from left and right i realized like okay this is not working for me like there's other figures out there that are much more anticipated than that i want compared to these figures i have in the collection uh but yeah i mean selling them off was the best option for me i think like i said before selling figures if you can't afford buying figures and also um uh, having the space you can always sell them and the great thing about this hobby is is that uh, you can always get it back you yeah. know if you really miss it you can get it back if it's not a crazy price, you know? Um, so yeah, I mean, I would say the, the hype train, I've definitely, I removed that in my, in my hobby for sure. And my habits as uh, following the hype, you know, cause I think I, 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 like, like you said before, where would I have this figure in the next 10 years? Where would yeah. this be the next 10 years, next mm -hmm. 10 plus years? And realistically it would leave, if anything, it would leave less than it would go under 10 years i would i would sell mm -hmm. it in, in a matter of months probably and uh mm -hmm. you know so i see it that way i mean you know i was kind of the same thing with the jack sparrow when it came out but with jack sparrow i had a huge attachment to it because i grew up with jack sparrow so like mm -hmm. that to me i got the artisan version so i was oh, able easy to obtain long. it uh, I don't know. Did you get a Tushin or no? I don't think you did. did no, you? I'm not a big uh, Pirates of the Caribbean fan. I see. I've seen all five movies, but I've only watched them once each during lockdown because we're binging uh -huh. a load of different movies we've right. seen. And uh, Megan's seen them a bunch of times, but uh, I'd never yeah. seen them. I, I enjoyed them. Um, definitely kind of some of the first ones more so than the latter. Uh, right. I think the best thing about it is uh, his portrayal as Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah. But that yeah. figure looks insane. So Right. Good. So yeah, and I mean like yeah, Jack Sparrow was an easy one to get, but I was kind of like I was I was kind of pondering when I when I saw the price, I was like, uh, is it worth the artisan? I'm like, yeah, I went for it. And the great thing is like if I didn't like it, you know, it's gonna I could get my money back for it. Uh, well, you can point, get so. according to Brad, you can get uh, over a grand in the secondary market. <laughs> you know, really so, the artisan yeah. Joker. I, I I last I heard it was like eight nine hundred. Um, I think it was eight hundred. I heard, but like uh. Yeah, I'd well believe it. Um, wow, look, that's limited crazy. piece uh, of that quality. Uh, people are selling pre-orders on um, on eBay. Yeah, and I, so, and uh, the, yeah, yeah um, but yeah, I would say uh, another thing too. Uh, another mistake I, I kind of just learned from was um, to really not waste your time into these things. I I noticed a couple of years ago. I still have the habit, but I'm trying to learn not to do it anymore. But when i'm alone usually and if i'm if i'm looking on youtube i can easily just like the habit is like i'm sure you had it too where when you receive the piece you're like oh on to the next one on to the next mm -hmm. one you're not appreciating it mm -hmm. you know you're just kind of like you have this addiction where you have to get the next available thing mm -hmm. uh and Instead i had appreciating that what you have correct yeah, yeah. so uh, i've it's an issue where i've learned a lot i'm still learning as well um but i've noticed that i've, I've 
I was watching, I was actually watching a, a, a video, a YouTube video, and uh, <laughs> the guy mentioned that, you know, it's, it's crazy that, you know, it's, it's better to kind of wait on the next piece because then you kind of, kind of appreciate Hot Toys. But it seems like now the appreciation for Hot Toys has kind of died down because they're mm -hmm. releasing piece after piece and the appreciation of it kind of died down over time. I mean, like when you had things like what you have, the DX08, I mean, those were like, the DXs were like a, a rarity at some mm -hmm. point. Like we, when you hear a DX coming out, you're like, oh yes, can't wait to have it. And then you appreciate it because it's like, it's something that you don't see a lot of times. Now you mm -hmm. see DXs everywhere with the bro balling eyes now. Um, but now we have the artisan line that we can appreciate, which is kind of like the, mm -hmm. the new DX. But I would say that now I've kind of waited Oh, and also overpaying. Overpaying is one thing I, I I stopped doing. I used to overpay a lot, and now like the market's so oversaturated with figures now that I can think like you know what, like I I got the like I, I mentioned I think I mentioned yeah I mentioned the stream where I got this clone troopers for like five hundred ship for four of them, so I was like yeah I'm gonna go for it because realistically if I would have bought them from sideshow it would have would have been twelve hundred, um so I mean like for me I look at that where I just wait. I kind of wait for the right price and I feel like when you wait you appreciate the figure more because you appreciate for the value you got it for it rather than paying for what it's going for and like sideshow or other other websites no, that's a fair point yeah you know so there's a few, I'm sure um, yeah th yeah there's a few like there's a few I've worked backwards on and overpaid well yeah paid over retail for I wouldn't say I've right. overpaid from yeah I suppose paid over retail trend this way you want to look at it so like the DX08 ended up getting for about I think it was just under four hundred dollars and it was, uh, it was it was it was brand new like it well it wasn't brand really new, but it was it had all the stuff in the box all the accessories there was no damage there was no issue, right. uh, the DX13 as well got for around the four hundred mark, but again yeah. those ones have like they're some of them have sold uh, on eBay for up around a thousand dollars like which I wasn't yeah. gonna pay for which... so patience pays off patience really does I mean I. I for years, I remember my first years of collecting. I've really wanted a Dark Side Anakin and an Obi Wan. I mean, that was something that I've I've been chasing for. But obviously, the prices on the secondary market said said something else. So, um, but I got them for an amazing deal, uh, and mm -hmm. I had to get them. And I, when I got them, I was really happy because I got it for a good deal rather than spending for what it's still going for like a thousand at least in the aftermarket. So. Mm -hmm um yeah i i feel like patience is another thing i've learned as well as a collector you know i'm i i kind of wait more and i feel like waiting is just the best option because it's more healthy for me i feel like if i do get figures on the website i kind of have a like oh maybe i should have waited but it's okay i got it and i feel like i've overspent and i don't i don't feel i don't like feeling like that when i'm overspending things i could use those extra funds towards another figure or other things in life but yeah, overspend, uh, patience is one of them I've learned. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, um, following the hype train. But yeah, as a collector, uh, you're going to learn these things no matter what. I mean, you know, um, as a young, as, 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 a, as a first starter, you're going to learn it. And as a veteran, I'm not a veteran per se, but I would, I would say I'm, I'm, e I'm, I'm equally experienced into the hobby to know what's good for me and what's not and uh, what pieces to get. So, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. So yeah. we're on to the last question, and I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked you on June 10, 2022. Um, wow. That's so crazy. I went back and I looked at, uh, I'm going to ask you what your three fire figures are and see if they're the same, because I imagine they might be the same and they might change. Um, okay. And I have in front of me, I went back and I watched it and I, I have the answer. I had what you said, like basically on okay. that day. So today, um, two years on, like, god forbid you know your apartment's on fire or whatever and everyone you know all your loved ones are outside safe and everyone's fine and on your way out like you you have enough time to safely grab i know this question is ridiculous at three one six scale figures which ones are going to come with you wow okay so number one is definitely then our joker's coming no matter what that, that's coming with me no matter what um dark side anakin will be one and then third one third one where's the third one um Ooh, well, um, maybe Carnage. Yeah, surprising those Spider-Man figures, but easily they can be reissued. So, like at that point, I heard a lot of good things about that Carnage. Can you remember what you said uh, two years ago? Uh, I think one of the most heavy Mando. I think I said OG, heavy Mando. OG Mando was okay. One OG one. Mando, okay. 
the DX Add. 19 was the other one, and okay. Justice League soups. So three, oh, three wow, solid okay. picks. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it's changed. Yeah, for sure, it's changed. Um, mm. But yeah, those are my top three now, as of as of mm -hmm. today. So yeah. Yeah, and then we got Brad uh, Koski saying Robocop Mark III 2.0. I can't say enough good things about the Mark III uh, yeah. 2.0 and uh, 66 Batman 3. Excellent, excellent uh, choice. Jose agrees with your choices. So that brings us to the end. Uh, KG, thank you so much for coming on and uh, giving up some of your time to have the conversation. I, I knew I'd enjoy this one and I, I definitely did. Thank you to everyone in the chat who's uh, come on and been kind enough to... Uh, spend some of their evening uh, watching us uh, have a conversation with collectibles um, obviously shout out to all the subscribers and uh, channel members so if you're watching you got any sort of value you enjoy the the um the conversation consider hitting the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already is there anything you want to plug or anything that you, you anything you got coming up or anything before we go sure like I, I'll, I'll first thing uh, Shane thank you for having me for a uh, no second problem. vision 2.0 it was great having and having these lovely uh, chats and uh, topics. So uh, appreciate for that. Okay. Um, as far as content in the channel, as you know, I've been, you know, I've been here and there kind of, you know, I've been busy with my real life. Um, uh, as far as content, I, I think a collection tour, two collection tours, I think are going to happen this year. Um, for sure, m anywhere between now to July, there's going to be a collection tour. And then there's one going to be towards the end of the year. Uh, as far as anything else, as far as content, there might be an NR versus Hot Toys comparison of the Batman, if I do get the NR Excellent. Batman. Um, and then, you know, maybe a few posing sessions here and there. As far as live streams, uh, I don't know. I don't know about live streams yet. I feel like live streams are going to be something I'll do last as far as planning on making more content. But um, I feel like you, Shane, and uh, the rest of the community uh, content creators are doing what they're doing as far as uh live streaming so i don't think it would be the same i don't you know different uh so um but yeah no i, I think that that's pretty much it as far as uh, content goes as yeah. far as what i planned excellent stuff well you know if you're ever at a loose end on a monday and you have a bit of time if you ever want to come on the hope show i know the time difference is crazy yeah but, uh, yeah just course. shoot us a, a message and we'll be, we'll be glad to have you on so of course with that you. folks that's us done and um see you later good luck so